Hello, and welcome to Catholic Current, where we give you an update on events affecting the Church in the United States. From Washington, D.C., I'm James Rogers, filling in for Maura Moser. We begin with an update on the 2021-2024 Synod. Together with the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops, the USCCB released the North American document last week. The document concludes the continental stage of the Synod, which is the second stage in the three-year process initiated by Pope Francis in October 2021. Bishop Daniel Flores is the chair of the Committee on Doctrine and has been shepherding the synodal process in the United States. At the Vatican for a meeting of the Synod Preparatory Commission, Bishop Daniel E. Flores of Brownsville, Texas, spoke about the Continental Report of the Synod Consultation for the United States and Canada. Just, just, just kind of take in kind of just the different voices. They're kind of, kind of try to imagine the voices of people speaking uh, from anybody of different walks of life, but all of them really taking, having made the effort to take the time to participate uh, in, in these sessions as a sign of their love for the church and their desire to do something good together. And, and to hear, read that with an open heart. And, and you'll read some things there that just, yeah, that makes sense to me. That, you'll be other things that go, no, I'm not so sure. But that's okay. It's a big church. And we need to kind of at least hear each other before we can kind of think together as to how to move forward. You can read the full document at usccb.org. The President and Vice President of the USCCB, Archbishop Timothy P. Brolio, and Archbishop William E. Laurie, as well as staff leaders Father Michael Fuller and Father Paul Hartman, visited Rome this week for their annual curial visit. It was a chance to update the Holy Father on the latest developments from the Conference in the Church in the United States. On Divine Mercy Sunday, Pope Francis reflected on the day's Gospel and spoke about where the faithful can seek the risen Christ. Where do we seek the Risen One? In a special event, in some spectacular or amazing religious manifestation? Solely at the emotional or sensational level? Or rather, in the community, in the church, accepting the challenge of staying there, even though it is not perfect? Despite all its limitations and failures, which are our limitations and failings? Our Mother Church is the body of Christ. And it is there in the body of Christ that now and forever the greatest signs of His love can be found impressed. Let us ask ourselves, however, if in the name of this love, in the name of Jesus' wounds, whether we are willing to open our arms to those who are wounded by life, excluding no one from God's mercy, but welcoming everyone, each person like a brother, like a sister, like God welcomes everyone. God welcomes everyone. The Pope also recited the midday Regina Celli prayer with an estimated 20,000 people gathered in St. Peter's Square. The Holy Father wished a happy Easter to all Eastern Catholics and Orthodox Christians who were celebrating the resurrection on that day in accordance with the Julian calendar. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Catholic Current. You can find out more about any of this week's topics by visiting us online at usccb.org or follow us on social media at usccb. We leave you with some video of Pope Francis in St. Peter's Square after his general audience on April 19. I'm James Rogers. God bless and take care.